tasty, uh, tasty and twisted, yeah! Nothing to start off this episode better than by cooking a fish that literally swims against the very water it breathes. Oil. Or butter. It's your call, really. Garlic powder and other spices are a perfect match for le fish. Salt and pepper are the other well-known pop condiments. I will be using butter in addition to the oil for mine. Curses! Foiled again! For the first time on this show. Tell a friend that maple syrup actually goes really well with salmon. Take out a decent size of the aluminum foil and lay it flat on your work area. Open up your pack of fish and set it on the middle of your foil. Wash your hands before you do any actual touching of the fish. Yeah, yeah, there, that's, there, that's the butter I mentioned. Spice up your fish to your liking, making sure to coat the top evenly. Fold up the sides of your foil a bit to catch any drips. Pour some oil over your salmon, then do the same with the maple syrup. Pull the sides of your foil up and over your fish and completely cover it. Make sure that the foil conforms to the shape of le fish. Just before I was about to start grilling, it started raining. Gonna have to wait a little bit. Go to your grill of choice and make sure it's cleaned off first. I need to use a separate lighter to ignite this grill, but it still works the same otherwise. Turn the heat to a slightly higher than medium heat, then put your fish onto the middle of the rack. Close that lid and let it sit for about 10 or so minutes. Make sure you change its position every now and then so it cooks more evenly. You might even need to flip it over if it's a thicker fillet. After about five more minutes, pull back some of the foil so you can see the fish inside. If any of the fish is still the original reddish pink, it is not done cooking yet. There's some more rain for you. After some time, check the fish again by breaking some of it apart. If it has no more of the original color and flakes apart easily, then it is done. Bring that fish back to your work area and remove it from the foil casing. It should look kinda like this when done. Put however much of your fish that you would like onto a plate and add some greens to help round out the meal. Enjoy your rebelliously fishy dish. Great for dinners and parties. <laughs> that was spiced perfectly. And it almost tastes like the maple kinda smoked it a little bit. It's weird, I'm not sure why it did that, but it did that. This is good.